Okay, today is September 20th, 2016, and we're watching the Northeast Pacific Water Vapor Loop. And uh, Hurricane Payne has been completely blown apart. We can see that there's a giant hole in the middle of what was the center of that storm as it moves into uh, Arizona and part of California. There was some rain. There is some rain falling in Southern California. Let's take a look at the uh, telecast Doppler radar map right now. We can see that uh, Southern California here, San Diego, we've got widespread uh, rain falling right now with some heavier patches of rain in the yellow here in the south central part of California. Imperial County, we've got San Diego County, and also uh, Riverside County right here, and then San, Ber San Bernardino County is right up in this area. But nothing in LA County, nothing in the foothills. Looks like about as far as it, uh, earlier today there was some rain falling up as far as La, uh, Laguna Niguel, uh, El Toro, Lake Elsinore, and uh, all this area. So that's good news, you know, uh, I don't know what the totals are yet, I haven't seen the, uh, the weather reports. Getting back to this big map, we have a, a storm indicated right here, and another gale force system behind that up here. We've got partial jet stream flow through uh, California and Oregon. And uh, part of that uh, flow is being disrupted by a transmitter in this area. Let's take a look at that here right now. And we can see that there's a sort of an isolated patch of moisture between uh, uh, right here in California. So there's some manipulation going on uh, there to dry this area out as it moves into California. And we have a nearly right angle right here on that uh, developing storm. If we just stop the loop here. A couple of hours ago it was much more square than this, but we can see that that's obviously a manipulated uh, weather front there. This is uh, several hundred miles long right here. Many, many hundreds of miles long both, both ways. So this is uh, weather manipulation by a transmitter, RF transmitter, to uh, break up the frontal system of that spinning low pressure. And notice also here in the water vapor loop that we have a channel uh, a blockade that's been built in by a transmitter right through here and that will prevent uh, this moisture from merging with everything going on down here. This is the jet stream right here and they don't want this moisture field uh, getting caught up in the jet stream and uh, moving into California and Oregon so they've got this all split up. And then there's also something trying to spin right here. There's a transmitter on top of that, which is uh, neutralizing uh, that activity right there. So we've got this uh, very strong uh, dark area here, which is a transmitter generated blockade. And that's all that is, is uh, to prevent this from merging with the jet and getting right into uh, the area where we need rain in California. Right here, we can see that big hole in uh, pain. Hurricane, former Hurricane Payne, which is now a post-tropical uh, hurricane. Let's take a look at the uh, hurricane map, the National Hurricane Center. We can see that uh, this uh, weather system now is moving north at 12 miles per hour, and the winds have dropped to 35 miles per hour. So that storm was uh, hit very hard overnight and by microwave, and they neutralized it and uh, kept blowing holes in it all night long. And uh, so what we're seeing now is just the remnants of that. We can see a huge hole. There's no uh, rotation left. There's just a big moisture field moving to the east. We've got a lot of high pressure right here to force all this moisture from away from California. This was a, a northbound storm. And we can see a, cir a circular shape right here. There's some high pressure right in this area and a lot of evaporation going on. Uh, see that jet stream moving through the area and this one area right here which is trying to spin uh, counterclockwise and then we have something else right over here as well it was looks like it was trying to spin but uh, we have this blockade which is uh, separating these two moisture fields all right here's the southwest uh, water vapor map we can see the uh, moisture remnants of uh, 
pain moving through California. And the rotation on this is completely stopped. We've got some corrupted maps, of course, uh, in that uh, sequence. The, uh, the rainbow loop is uh, pretty good, though. We can see a lot of outflow in this area <clears throat> as that transmitter continues to uh, break this area apart. This was the center of that storm, and they will continue to focus uh, RF energy in the core of this thing to prevent any uh, rebuilding of that uh, counterclockwise uh, vortex. So this will uh, this transmitter will follow this system as it moves away for time for the time being. But notice all of the evaporation right up here over uh, uh, Santa Barbara and uh, Vandenberg, which is right here on the point, and right here the Channel Islands. There's a number of uh, transmitters out on these islands. These are golf ball radome transmitters <clears throat> at the surface level, so they can uh, they can beam RF energy. Uh, right around in this area and break things up and that's kind of what we're seeing right here All this moisture should be moving uh, north just along with the storm everything should be move, uh, moving basically due north uh, But because of the high pressure it's pushing it all away and We can see that uh, circular indent here is that high pressure is installed and is just bulldozing everything away Same thing is happening here this is just being uh, done to prevent any rebuilding of that low pressure vortex. There's no rotation here, really, <clears throat> because everything's been stopped. We can see the outflow as well in the, in the center here. Things are moving away. Everything's moving away from the center of that transmitter, which is essentially right in this area. Okay. Now the visible light map is corrupted as well, but we, we do see some uh, detail here. Okay, here's the surface analysis map, and uh, <clears throat> there is a storm indicated right here just south of the Aleutian Islands. This is that big system that had the uh, right angle on it. And this uh, is indicated to move basically due north. It has nowhere to go because of this high pressure installed right there. That's always there. This high pressure is always in this area. Summer, winter, spring, fall, it doesn't matter. They've got high pressure. It's there all the time. And right behind this, we have another uh, weather system, a 979 millibar gale, which is moving east-northeast. Down here off of the... Uh, California coast, we have, we've got this uh, former hurricane, we've got a low pressure and a trough shown right there. But we have uh, mid to upper 90 degree temperatures forecast for the rest of the week. Here's the pressure maps, we've got the sea level pressure map. And we've got the remnants of that uh, storm right there. We've got high pressure in this area as those transmitters are working to break up that uh, moisture field is moving in through part of California, Arizona, and uh, New Mexico. We've got low pressure here, low there, high there. Okay, the 500 millibar looks a little different. This uh, upper level low is completely uh, broken up. We have some squiggly lines. This is indicating uh, transmitters at work, breaking up uh, low pressure and forcing descending air into this area of, of uh, thunderstorms. And the same thing here on the 300 millibar. This is all that's left of that low pressure system. Got some squiggly lines right here over uh, Arizona. And descending air, uh, when this is created, this can create problems for nearby plains. If there's a area of thunderheads that are not associated with a hurricane, for instance, thunderheads that are being targeted by microwave, that can create a lot of uh, descending air, violent uh, activity in the air, and so when we hear about when we hear about uh, severe air turbulence, I always think of uh, what we're seeing here on these maps and these storms that are being broken up daily uh, all over the place, offshore, over the over land. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on these maps. These these are good clues. These little squiggly lines tell us what's going on in that area. Okay, this is the East Pacific water or the uh, visible light uh, map. We can see these disturbances down here. 
Uh, right, one here and one over here. That's a pain in the form of hurricane is right up here. And we have the jet stream map just showing that we've got some flow moving through uh, California, Oregon, and Idaho, and out through Canada. So California was gypped out of rain. This uh, flow should have kept moving north, uh, but it was, uh, it's been manipulated by all this high pressure right here. And that's really all that's left right there. A pain is a, just a big hole where that center of rotation used to be. Okay, so that's the report. Uh, we'll leave it right here and do another update tomorrow.